Good morning, cadets, and welcome again to another day of our asynchronous class in the NSTP ROTC component. Today, we shall continue our discussion about the drills and ceremonies subject. Last asynchronous class, we tackled the commands topic and discussed to you about the combined commands, supplementary commands, mass commands, and the command voice. This time, we shall be discussing to you about the steps and marching, the last part of the topic under drills and ceremonies. Steps and marching. Please be informed that this section contains all the steps in marching of the individual soldier. These steps should be learned thoroughly before proceeding to unit drill. Remember, all marching movements executed from the halt are initiated from the position of attention. When executed from the halt, all steps except right step shall begin with the left foot. The 30 inch step or what we call as quick time, the rate of cadence is 120 steps per minute. And to march with a 30-inch step from the halt, the command is Pasulong, CAD. On the preparatory command Pasulong, shift the weight of your body to the right foot without noticeable movement. On the command of execution, CAD, step forward 30 inches with the left foot and continue marching with 30-inch steps keeping the head and eyes fixed to the front. The arms swing in natural motion without exaggeration and without bending at the elbows. Approximately 6 inches straight to the front and 3 inches straight to the rear of the trouser seams. Knuckles out facing forward. Fingers formed into a fist with the thumb over the forefinger. Let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided. Pasulong! Good! Pasulong! In halt while marching, meaning you are executing patakda, which will be showed in the next video. And for you to stop marching, the command pulutong, hinto, shall be given. The preparatory command pulutong is given as either foot strikes the marching surface. As long as the command of execution to is given the next time that foot strikes the marching surface. So, if you command pulutong, timing it to your right foot, your command to should also be given timing it in your right as it hits to the ground. Remember to execute additional two counts or steps after hinto is commanded. After the command of execution to, you do not stop marching immediately but you take that extra two counts or step, bringing your trail foot alongside your lead foot wherein you shall be assuming the position of attention and a necessary movement shall be done. Patakda and the hinto. Most drill commands have two parts, the supplementary command and the command of execution. For example, in the video, to command squad to stop marching, we have tilak, meaning squad as the preparatory command, followed by the command of execution to, to stop. You might be wondering why they are using the word tilap instead of pulotong as earlier discussed. The word tilap 
is referring to a squad as you can see there are only three of them in the video if you say pulotong you are referring to a platoon wherein it is composed of three to four squads we also have balangay wherein it is referring to a company and is composed of two to three platoons lastly we have talupad referring to a battalion which is composed of about four to six companies moving forward with our discussion to march in place the command patakda na is given remember what has been mentioned earlier always step off beginning with your left foot on the on the command of execution na raise your left foot bringing the trailing foot alongside the leading foot and begin to march in place raise each foot alternately 30 inches off the marching surface and keep the arms at the sides in the position of attention let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided Please be informed that even though you are marching, the command patakda na can be given wherein you march in place. For you to, re to resume marching, the command pasolong kad is given. On the command of execution kad, take one more step in place and then step off with a 30 inch step. Assume you are halted at attention and you receive the command Liko sa kanan CAD On the preparatory command Liko sa kanan Without any noticeable movement Shift the weight of your body to the left leg And the command of execution CAD Face 90 degrees to the right By pivoting on the ball of the left foot At the same time Taking a 30 inch step in the new direction with the right foot swinging your arms in their natural arc six inches to the front and three inches to the rear of your legs but allow them to swing away from the body you will continue to march taking 120 30 inch steps per minute swinging your arms normally until given the ad given another command let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided please take note that in the video they are there are three of them wherein the person on the left shall not be facing 90 degrees automatically to the right since he has to wait for the rightmost person for them to be aligned and shall step off together and shall swing their arms naturally Sulong liko sa kanan. Take note that the proper execution should have an erect head and squared body. Arms should be clipped to your sides and the formation should still maintain a straight row. This time, the command is Liko sa Kaliwa CAD. On the preparatory command, Liko sa Kaliwa. Without any noticeable movement, shift the weight of your body to the right leg and, the command, and on the command of execution CAD, face 90 degrees to the left by pivoting on the ball of the right foot. At the same time, taking a 30-inch step in the new direction with the left foot swinging your arms in their natural arc 6 inches to the front and 3 inches to the rear of your legs but allow them to swing away from the body you will continue to march taking 120 30 inch steps per minute swinging your arms normally until given another command 
Let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided. Please take note that in the video, there, there are three of them, or in the person on the right, shall not be facing 90 degree automatically to the left since he has to wait for the leftmost person, the one who will give the command for them to be aligned and shall step off together and shall swing their arms naturally. Pusulong liko sa kaliwa. Here we use kad as the command of execution. The left foot should be used first and follow a 21 count march before proceeding to walk in cadence. To march by the flank. How do you execute kanang panig? While marching and the given command is kanang panig, kad, at the command, at the command kad, strike the given foot on the ground advance and plant your left foot then face to the right in marching and step off in the new direction on your right foot let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided panig sa kanan or right flap The interval between the preparatory command and the command of execution is normally one step or count. Arms should be clipped to your sides during execution and while maintaining proper posture. How do you execute Kaliwang Panig? While marching, and the given command is Kaliwang Panig CAD, at the command CAD, Strike the given foot on the ground, advance and plant your right foot, then face to the left in marching, and step off in the new direction on your left foot. Let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided. Panig sa kaliwa or left flank This is to change direction of a unit when marching. The command is given as the left foot strikes the marching surface. To march to the rear. Assume you are marching forward and you receive the command, Pabalik, Kad. The command of execution will be given as the right foot strikes the deck as this involves movement to the right. On the command of execution CAD, your next step shall be to place your left foot approximately 30 inches and directly in front of your foot. Your next step shall be to face 180 degrees to the right about by pivoting on the balls of both feet. The legs remain straight without stiffness and the arms continue their natural swing, but not allowing it to swing wide from the body. Your next step without loss of cadence will be a 30 inch step in the new direction. You shall continue to march quick time until given another command. Let us take a look of the video in order for you to be guided and please take a closer look on the video and the quickest cadets to react, comment, his her observation by sending us an email shall be rewarded with plus five merits. Balik na clip third. Balik na clip turn. Balik na clip turn.
there are errors on the video earlier that I would like you to un to identify. Um, just send us an email and the top 10 who gets to point out the errors shall be rewarded with 5 merits. At this moment, we shall be showing to you videos on the execution of column left and right march or daliko sa kaliwa and liko sa kanan. Videos on how the squad is formed and aligned in normal interval and close interval and the execution of, on the command fall in or humanay. These commands are frequently used during our drills and I want every one of you to familiarize these commands and how it is executed in order for you to be guided in our upcoming in-person meeting this coming Saturday, October 8, 2022. Ko sa kaliwa na shum one two three four five six. Ko sa kanan na one two. Tuntun sa kanan, na! On the command of execution, na! The right flank man stands fast. Each member, except the right flank man, turns his head and eyes to the right and aligns himself with the man on his right. Each member, except the left flank man, extends his left arm laterally at shoulder level, elbow locked, fingers and thumb extended and joined, palm facing down. He ensures his left arm is in line with his body and positions himself by short steps right or left until his right shoulder touches the fingertips of the man on his right. Go. Sinsin pagitan tuntun sa kanan. Na! On this command, members providing interval place their left hand on their hip with the elbow in line with their body. Each member gaining interval move by short steps until his right arm touches the elbow of the man to his right. The following actions occur simultaneously. Manay! Each member double times to his position in the formation. One, two, three, four, five. The right flank man positions himself so Manay! that when the squad is formed, it is three steps in front of and centered on the squad leader. The right flank man comes to the position of attention and raises his left arm laterally at shoulder level, elbow locked, fingers and thumb extended and joined, and palm facing down. He ensures that the left arm is in line with the body. The man to the immediate left of the right flank man comes to the position of attention, turns his head and eyes to the right, and raises his left arm in the same manner as the right flank man. He obtains proper alignment by taking short steps forward or backward until he is on line with the right flank man. He then obtains exact interval by taking short steps left or right until his shoulder touches the extended fingertips of the right flank man. As soon as the man to the left has obtained normal interval, each man individually lowers his arm to his side, sharply turns his head and eyes to the front, and assumes the position of attention. The right flank man then sharply returns to the position of attention. All other members of the squad form in the same manner except that the left flank man does not raise his left arm.
if you have any questions don't hesitate to email us our email address is rotc at su.edu.ph that is the end of the last part of our discussion next asynchronous meeting we shall discuss ceremonial parade and review which is in relation with drills and ceremonies subject thank you for watching we hope you have learned a lot and we shall be seeing you in person this saturday october 8 2022 and hoping to see you apply what you have learned for today's discussion enjoy the rest of your day second lieutenant rodolfo jewel biloxin jr mac reserve signing off